welcome back team and today we're doing full body workout with extra focus on arms core and abs we'll begin this session with power hit and finish strong with pilates session so get ready to sweat guys and let's crush it all right team so get ready to give your absolutely best one minute work 30 second break first block without the dumbbells step back or burpee with me top top let's begin all right guys i want to see those tops somewhere right in between your mat between your hands and between your feet all the way and my beginners you don't have to hop right as i said you can just step back if you need your knees on the floor without tops you can also modify that that way first block without the weights we will consider it as a warm-up block and then we have four more blocks of power hit I'm using today 10 pound set and eight pound dumbbells. You can use the lighter ones or a little bit heavier ones. All right, guys, keep on working. Do not stop. Come up all the way to the top. Good job. For lower intensity exercise for 30 seconds today, since it's an arms and abs challenge, we're gonna be holding lower tricep but you can always skip your low intensity and just rest on those 30 seconds. Beautiful. On the floor, on your knees, guys. Hands, shoulders width apart, chest right in between. Hold this, guys, with me just a few seconds. Your next exercise is your single arm step to your plank, cork screw. If single arm is almost impossible, do just the two arms with a regular step and a corkscrew. You ready, guys? On the position, only one arm for one minute. All the way, corkscrew. Step back. This is challenging for balance. That means that's challenging for our core as well. Don't hurry up. Give me a good form on those step. Back, come on back up. Good job. All the way. When you do your corkscrew, guys, Try to send the ankles all the way down, guys. So you feel that in your abdomen, really good. Excellent, carry on. Perfect. Let's finish it together. Good job. And again, if you cannot do one arm step back, use your both hands just you do a regular step back into your plank, just like you did beginners at the first exercise. That's good. Do not quit. Court screw. Last one. Fantastic work, guys. All right, we're going for the tricep. We'll repeat this exercise one more time, but using the other arm. A few seconds hold, guys. Stay with me. We have four, three, two, one. Remember, you can skip your lower intensity one. Come on up. Make sure you use another arm, right? Step back. Quality corkscrew. screw. Do it in your plank. If you need your knees on the floor, so well, you will do that too. All right, guys, here we go. Join me when you're ready. Very balanced, challenging. Come on back. Nice job, team. All right, guys, everybody do your best. Looking good. I can see you, I promise. All right, guys, come on, push it. We almost threw the first warm up block team. Almost through. That's it. Breathe. We're gonna have a longer break every three exercises so we can drink our water. Stay with me. Don't, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, guys. All the way, come back. Plant your hand wisely, strategically, step back. Good quality corkscrew, heels toward the ground. All right, we're almost there. I think we can fit one more. Come on back. Beautiful work. So tricep and then we're gonna take a sip. Stay hydrated. Elbows in, all the way stay. Oh, we have guys, four more. Three more. Don't quit. Two more, come on back up. Excellent work. For the first exercise with a dumbbell, we're gonna be using only one dumbbell. If you have a two different sets, pick one which is the heavier. 
over hack, static dumbbell hold, two squat, one minute total, feet a little bit wider than your hips, that's going to be challenging, begin, we don't have to go extremely fast, but I want you to pick up the pace, so we burn maximum calories today, when you do your squats, your knees guys, away from your toes, so on the way up, the rest through the heels, again weight away from the knees and your toes, if you have shoulders injuries, be careful guys, holding that weight over your head, maybe you begin here and then it starts to bother you, put the weight on your chest, but don't quit, stay with me, we're working guys, try to hold those arms, if you hold in the dumbbell over your head, all the way nice and extended, this is very challenging, looks like a regular squat, but when we add that overhead hold, that makes it really tough and more. We did it, guys. Come on down quickly for your tricep, tricep hold. Your next exercise, we're gonna be doing only one dumbbell as well. It's your squat to side crunch, knee lift. I'm gonna be using eight pounds for this exercise. Get ready, counterbalance yourself from the other side in a three, two, one. Begin, guys, all the way. Good, so it's not only your arm, that's your core and obliques as well. Give it a good quality crunch. Eight pounds, it's a pretty challenging weight for this single arm exercise, especially when we're constantly coming back over hat. Do not quit, guys. Stay with me till the very last second of this timer. Come on. We will crush this together, I promise you. And then you're gonna feel so good after that. Because the hardest time, the hardest part of the workout is to make a commitment to begin your workout. And you already did it. And now it's a piece of cake. Just follow along. All right, guys. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Do not quit. I know that arm is feeling it. Squat back. Excellent work. That was quite challenging. We will repeat this exercise one more time on the other side. Hold your tricep. Few seconds only, guys. Four, three, two, come on back. Remember, you can skip that low intensity one. Other side, guys. Feet slightly wider than your hips. Counter your balance. Prepare. Make a decision to finish strong. Here we go. All the way, guys. We got this. Perfect. All the way, counterbalance. And higher knee raise. So you feel those abs. Core for balance. And your obliques. Even part of the lower back fat. Don't stop. Try not to back bend. I know there is a little tendency, especially with the arm over your head, to bend forward, tilt your chest. But I really need you to stay tall in your squat. And the rest, straight through the glutes and the heels to come back up. That's good. Almost, guys. Almost. Do not quit, guys. Do not quit, please. Stick with me till the very last second. Last second is right here. All right, this is, team, your longer break. But we do the tricep first. Come on down. All the way, descent. Hold, guys. Strong, lean, sexy arms. Requires some work. Come on up, guys. Come on up. Beautiful. So your block number two out of five power hit is complete your next block we will begin with the deadlift and front arm raise i'm going to be using eight pounders because we're also doing a chest press 90 degree single feet hips width apart shoulder blades together begin all the way push it good job guys when you come up 
keep your back slightly tilted. Do not extend and stay strong all the way up. Just let's say lift 10, 15 percent. So your back working constantly, returning to back to the deadlift. We got this one. Eight pounds was a very right choice for me. Don't drop your elbows, guys, on that standing chest press. When you do your deadlift, I know you're all doing great. Keep your shoulder blades connected, just like you holding a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Perfect. Carry on. Arms lift. We got this one. All the way down. Good job, guys. Finish this last final one. Excellent work. All right, on your tricep. For the next exercise, guys, we're gonna be using just one dumbbell. I'm gonna be using my 10 pound dumbbell. Rare lunge, all on one side, and a wood chopper. So get on the position, only one side. There is a lot of core imbalance, guys. That dumbbell is gonna go outside your front knee. <sighs> Prepare, all in the position. Here we go. All on one side, guys. Come on back. In order for you to sustain the form in your lunge, you really have to activate your core. This is a challenging stand for the chopper. Perfect. We got this one. Step back, all on one side, guys. All on one side. Let's see how many more left. We're more than halfway through, guys. Stay with me, stay with me. Perfect. Step, chop, up, come on back. 10 pounds, feels pretty heavy in that position. And especially going quicker. Breathe, guys. All the way, all right, finish strong. Excellent job. Your tricep, my friend. And then we're gonna go do this from other side. Descent, hold it for a few seconds only. Three, two, one, coming back. All right, already we're doing the other side. Your dumbbell goes outside of your front knee. On the position. In a three, two, one. Begin your step back. Don't procrastinate to begin your one minute. We only have 60 seconds, guys, to finish the exercise. Use that time wisely. That's perfect. This is so challenging for core before we even can get to the chopper. Good work. Lift it all the way back, guys. Overhead. That's it. We got this, guys. We got this together. Focus on the centering. Step back wider and lower to the true rear lunge. If you need to put your knee on the floor, beginners, please do. All right, we're finishing. Come on, guys, don't quit. That's it, last one, team. All the way, right in time. All right, we're going for our tricep push-up. And this is your longer break. Excellent. Get back down. Few seconds left, guys. Four, three, two, and one. All right. For the next block, I'm gonna be using 10 pounds dumbbells. Your first exercise. Here is your burpee or your step back. After that frogger, and then we come back to the rows. All right, on the position, guys. Give me two rows first. Here we go. One, two, burpee frogger. Come back. One, two, frogger, hop, go back, guys. All ready, quick. Roll right along the rib cage. Give me quality, hop or step. You don't have to do your hops. That's it. 
Row it. Row it. Come on up, Frogger. Perfect form, team. Row it. If you need to do your knees on the floor for your rows, do it, guys, but don't quick. Pick up the tempo with me. All the way. Good work, everybody. Finish strong, finish strong, don't quit. Last Frogger. We got this. I'm gonna put the dumbbells away because for the next block, we're gonna be using just one dumbbell. Eight pounds, I'm using eight pounds. If you have a lighter weight, pick up the lighter weight as well. This is your standing to warrior three. Your leg opposite to your arm, which is holding the dumbbell. Arm extension, a lot of balance. You can do it, I promise you. Arm opposite to your leg. That's it. Warrior three, arm raise. We got this. This is a true core work. In arms and shoulders, of course, in your abs. That's it. The eight pound was the right weight for me. Perfect. Excellent. Carry on, guys. We can't really go super fast here, but I want you to keep the good form. Do not throw that arm and don't drop that arm back. Focus on consistency and muscular control. Stay with me. That's it. All right, one more, guys. We can do one more. That's it. Put your dumbbell away. We're gonna be doing the same exercise one more time after the tricep. Hold it low. We hold, guys, four, three, two, Come on back. All right, your dumbbell opposite to your extended leg. So I'm changing, get ready. We go first to the warrior three, to that balancing position, and then we raise the arm. Here we go. Come on, guys. If you need to counter stretch yourself with the arm here, you can. It doesn't seem like it's helping much, it's just very challenging exercise. Very good. Lower. Keep your leg, supportive leg, slightly soft. Just soften your knee slightly. Don't squat on it, but slightly soften. All right. Don't drop your shoulders, guys. Keep working. Balance first, then reach. Release the dumbbell back, guys. Don't drop it. This is a truly functional training here. Works every single inch of that body. All right, do not quit, my friends, do not quit. Stay super strong, shine that commitment through. All right, we did it. We have our longer break, guys. After the tricep, and we down towards the final exercise, towards the final block of this power hit workout. So drink your water, guys. Stay hydrated. Your next exercise in this power hit block is your plank to extended plank walk. Try to walk as far as you can. Of course, make sure that there is no sweat and it's not slippery. We do it together, team. Ready, here we go, walk. All the way. Walk, walk. Stay strong, guys. Walk, walk. That's it, wider. Beginners, if you need your knees on the floor, you can do it. This is a pure arms and core block. Stay with me, farther. Go, go. That's good. Do not give up. When you do your extended walk, focus on the core even more. Activate your abs and scoop the belly in. Because you're holding this position, not just with your arms, 
and shoulders with your core as well. Don't drop the belly. Pick up the pace with me, guys. We got this. Finish strong, finish strong. Few seconds left. I'm feeling it. We're going for a tricep. Ready? Hold it. Your next exercise, just unilateral. We're gonna be doing plank to side plank, guys. If you cannot do single leg plank to a single leg side plank, do just a regular one. But I want you to try with me. We're gonna do only one side for entire minutes. So on the position, leave that leg. Three, two, one. If you need to do just a regular plank, you can. Try not to top your foot back. I know, we can do it. Very good. Breathe, guys. Stay with me. Arm burner, belly fat burner, all in one. We're doing it. I'm so proud of you, team. Come on. Leg on fire here as well. This is just a single leg work. We did it. All the way, guys. My arms shaking. Finish it. We got this last one. Excellent. That's it. Come on down. We're gonna do the tricep. I almost failed the final rep. All right, team. We're gonna do one more. Set off those planks to the side planks. Hold it lower. Four, guys. Three, two. Come on up. But we're gonna be using the other side. I'm gonna turn around so I can see you better on the position, guys. If you need to quit your single leg plank and move to the regular, please do. But don't quit the exercise. Three, two, one. Good work, everyone. All the way side. Keep on working, guys. Roll it side, lift. Roll it side. Try not to tap your leg back in your plank. You can, you can, you can. A lot of core strings here. Stay with me till the very last second. We got this. Whew. Almost. Last second hitch. All right, guys, finish strong. It's not a good time to quit right now. Come on, guys. One more. You can fit one more. We got this. Awesome job. All right, guys, fantastic work. Now we will continue with our Pilates session, strong Pilates session. So let's begin this session on our kneeling position. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, hold one on top of another, and knees, guys, underneath your hips. We're going first for the balancing tabletop. So take your right leg up, take your opposite left arm forward, scoop your belly in, and stay with me, guys, really, really strong and long. So we're not just holding those arms and legs, but we're actually lengthening and stretching all the way through, like we want to reach to different sides of the room, guys. Keep on working, keep on holding. We hold for eight counts more, a little bit longer, guys. You can lengthen in a little bit more with me. And four, guys, left. Three, two, and one, take your left hand on the floor, move your left foot slightly behind, and we find ourselves in a side quality kneeling position. We begin with the hand to the toe with a straight leg. If you can, if not, bend your knee. Here we go. We have 16 strong power Pilates session, guys, for our arms, abs, shoulders, and core. I count, and we're working together, guys. I will tell you when we eight through. That's gonna be a halfway for this one. Activate, guys, through the center. Drive that leg through the center. So it's not just the leg movement, but through the center. We have eight to go, guys. Eight, 
seven, six, great form everybody, five, and four, and three, and two, stay with me guys, and one, hold it and extend right over. Your next exercise here, we have 16 too. I know your arms getting tired. Stay with me, elbow to the knee, front crunch. Let's do it, we have only 16. One, together guys, two, three. Lean, sexy, strong arms require some work, I know. All right guys, five, four, three, and two. We did a great job with the power hit today. So let's finish strong with this Pilates session. We have three to go. Two. And one. And we team return back to our balancing tabletop on the same arm and leg. Reach all the way. We hold guys for four. For three. For two. Burning. And go ahead and grab your ankle guys. Bind if you can or hold a few more seconds your balancing tabletop. We hold for four, guys. Three, two, and all the way. We're gonna do exactly the same from other side. I will turn around so just I can see you. You guys stay in the same position. So we will take the opposite leg, opposite leg up, left, and the right arm, guys, all the way. Nice and extended. Make sure, guys, you're not just holding them. Pull the stomach in, but you truly lengthen in all the way through, guys. Inhalation, lengthen in even more on exhalation. Wrist elbow, shoulder, stack one on top of another. We keep reaching. We have few more counts here to hold, guys. Four, three, a little bit longer. Two, fantastic, all right. We're ready, guys, to put our hand on the floor, move your left foot slightly more behind and find ourselves on a nice side kneeling extended position. So what we're doing here, we're going to do the strong straight leg to the hand 16. Try not to drop that leg, hold that leg and arm 90 degrees above the floor. We're already working, guys. That's good. Four, right through the center, guys. Five. Six, seven, and we halfway through. We have eight more like this. You can always bend your knees, Tim, when you have to, but try to stick with the form as long as possible. You're super strong. All right, guys, we have only four to go after this. We have four and three. We got this. And two, everyone. All right, don't quit. Go ahead and extend. We have our crunches, knee to the elbow, only 16, and back to the balancing tabletop. One, two, three. A little bit tighter, guys, four, five. Make sure you give it like a half a second of connection on that crunch. So you really activate your obliques and your abs. Extended arm, guys, all the way with a good, powerful extension because that works your arms as well if you keep the resistance. All right, we're almost through. Four, guys. And three. Only two left. One more. Excellent, we're back to the balancing tabletop. We're going to take the hand back on the floor, keep the same leg lifted, opposite arm up, your right arm. Stay with me, guys, pull the stomach in. Four, three. Two, stay in your balancing tabletop just like we did, or slowly catch on your ankle. Good quality, bind, stretch, chest, and back, guys. Four, three, two, let it go, my friends. All right, I'm turning back, facing you. So your next blow, guys, is gonna be your side planks and your planks block. So we come up to the side, to the regular plank, and we begin with the one leg, just like we did in our power hit. But this time, we're gonna go to the side, hold both hands on the floor, do the quality hip dip for your obliques, return back. You can continue to place your foot on the floor, or you can continue to hold your leg with me. 
on the position and we're going slow. Down, both hands on the floor. Hip dip, rotate back. And down, hip dip, rotate, heel, hip dip, all the way guys, heel, hip dip, all the way, we go, heel, we have only three after that, back, only three left guys, heel, hip dip, lower the shoulder dip, back, two to go, Side plank, hip dip, all the way. Do not quit, guys. I know this is challenging. Side, hip dip, all the way back on your plank. Your next exercise here, before we're gonna begin the other leg, is your down dog, your upside down V touch. Hand back, knees on the ground. Your tricep push up. Back to your dog, guys. Touch the other side. So join me when you're ready. Knees on the floor, chest in between, back all the way. Touch all the way across, active arms, active legs, active abs. Come on back, reach other side. Back, knees on the floor, chest right in between. Come on back up, all the way. Reach guys, we have only four to go, including this one, chest. Back, other side. Reach, guys, with the quality. Knees on the floor, push. We have only two to go. Reach, top, back, knees, all the way. Back up, extend, and we have a last one. Reach, guys, top, down, all the way, back. Excellent. We're coming back to the plank, my friends. We do the same single leg. If you can not to touch the floor, entire set, please do. But if you need to put your foot on the floor, then keep your foot on the floor. All right, rotate both hands on the floor. Hip dip, back in the center, guys. Rotate, hip dip, back in the center. We're gonna get through it together. Rotate, hip dip, back together. Rotate, hip dip. Back, stay with me, guys. Rotate, I keep sliding deep. Back, all right, guys, we have only three. Rotate, dip, hip, only two, guys. Rotate, hip, dip, back. Last one, guys. Rotate, hip, dip, back, together. Knees on the floor, all the way. We're gonna go for the two different variations of the lean backs. So I want you to put your right ankle on top on the left ankle. And then for the next set, we're going to be switching. This is more challenging position to do your lean back, but you can do it. So try not to squat. We're going to lean back, use an entire torso and hold that resistance in the body. Arms to the front, no squats guys. Here we go, we lean back. We hold for four, three, two, come on back. You're gonna feel your glutes, your abs, and your legs. Full body burner, let's go. Hold for four, four guys. Three, two, all the way back. We have two more, then we have a couple more exercises in the planks, and then we repeat this lean back from other side. Come on back, one more guys, lean back. Squeeze the glutes, four, three, two. Take it back, undo those feet. Remember the right was above the left. We're gonna go for the side plank rotations, guys. We have 16 on each side. Begin, one, two, three, four, five. Finish, guys, with me, six, all the way, rotate under, rotate under. We have only eight to go, one, and two, and three. All right, guys, finish it. We have four reps left here, four, and three, full rotation, and two, we will switch the position. All right, forgive me, my back. Ready, arms up, 
in good quality rotation under rotate rotate I want to see the time all the way through guys all the way through touch so you feel your obliques of course you feel them right now your waistline but you need to really go and pay attention for that rotation all right guys we have eight from here seven in six deeper guys that's perfect four in three and two guys last one we've got this we're gonna go back on the kneeling position this time your left ankle above your right that activates a little bit deeper one or other side so that's why we really have to mirror it and make it balance so we're gonna do four rounds four counts hold arms on the front really strong and extended scoop the belly in squeeze your glutes lean back do not squat four three two and one take it back you ready keep those arms long and extended four three two and back we have only two more to get here guys lean back four three two come on back you've got this one more guys just like this in four three two come on back all right we're going to make our transfer towards our seated position guys all the way up here we're ready for rollovers to the reverse tabletop so come on down all the way on your back if you're not doing the full rollover not a big deal just keep your legs up above your face when you come up we set the hands we go for the reverse tabletop on the position and begin roll over we're never rolling over on our neck come on back up and already begin your transition to the roll up hands underneath the shoulders big reverse tabletop again all the way nice and slow with control in your center we have a total take it back up excellent let's go guys we're doing it together reach come on up already begin to think about your reverse tabletop once you start to come out of your rollover mm -hmm. beautiful come on back we have only four repetitions to finish your reverse tabletop i want to see a good quality tabletop guys no hanging hips if i put the glass of water on your belly it should stay let's go we have three to finish this one hands back and only two to go guys all together take my energy and don't quit reach one more and we're going to transfer to the reverse tabletop hold one leg guys extend it if this is too much just hold your reverse tabletop we hold guys for four three don't quit two and take it back guys all the way hold four four three two all the way i'm so proud of you we're gonna go for the teaser hold legs up if you need to bend your knees guys you can bend your knees scoop the belly do not arch the back scoop the belly right in arms on the side and we are pumping one two three four five six seven eight another eight seven six five four three two one legs on the floor we're going for the reverse plank leg pull back we're only going to do eight four on each side make sure your wrist underneath your shoulders here we go point your toes one two three guys four five six don't drop the plank seven and eight all the way back excellent we back to the teaser and this time we're going to be just holding that teaser bend your knees if you have to and we do the arms extend it on the side 
all the way. Stay with me, scoop the belly in, guys. We almost through. We have four to go. Three to go. Two to go. And one more, do not quit. Last one, last one, last one. Take your legs on the ground. Take your hands towards your legs and give your body a good stretch all the way. We have a couple more exercises to finish this workout on our back to keep the body strong and healthy. Come on back down all the way. Bend your knees. And place your arms right along your body. We're gonna be holding this bridge and alternating the legs. So not only that your arms, shoulders, but you will also target your glutes in this exercise. All right, guys, we point in the leg all the way and we're doing tiny, tiny little circles, drawing the little circle with your toes. Begin, 16, 15, ooh. I'm feeling those legs, arms, and shoulders, guys. Do not drop your hips. We have eight, seven, just tiny, tiny little circles. Six, five, keep that leg extended. Four, three, two, one. If you need a rest in between, alternating the legs, please do. Otherwise, join with me. Reactivate those arms and shoulders. Little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and again, guys, we have eight. Hold the bridge. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way back down, nice and slow. Take your both arms to the top. Open up your knees to the side. Lift your upper body, your shoulders off the ground. Lift your feet, guys. Stay with me in center and arms up. Your shoulders are not moving, guys. Only your arms, your feet are not moving. Only your arms. We have only four to go. Keep your lower back grounded, four, guys. Three, and two, and one more, guys. One more. I am so proud of you, so put your feet back on the floor. Take your one leg up and gently press on that leg. Give that leg a good quality stretch. Four and three and two. Let's switch the legs. Reach that other leg all the way up and gently press on it. Four and three and two. Come on up, guys, into your mermaid. Right up here, we will take one hand on the elbow or on the hand and all the way, reach up. Good lateral stretch, four guys. Three, two, and the same side where your hand was, we're gonna go for a half lateral rotation. Four guys, three, and two. And all the way, return back. Let's switch our mermaid position. Your arm on the hand or on your elbow even, all the way up above the head. We have four to hold, three and two. Come on back up the same side where your hand was. We're gonna go for the half lateral rotation all the way, guys, four and three and two. Come on back to the center. Bring your both feet up front, lengthening that spine all the way nice and tall. Take your both hands to the front and straighten, draw your forehead to your feet and knees all the way outside, outward. Excellent work. Let's slowly come on up. We did a big, strong workout today, guys. So step a little bit wider. Give me that final feel good plie squat. And all the way, guys, one more inhalation. Exhalation, outstanding, fantastic, amazing job, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Like and comment below, guys. I read your every single comment. So rest well, recover well, and I will see you all tomorrow.